Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ace, and today I welcome you all back to another awesome episode of Grand Theft Auto PC. Hope you guys enjoy watching the video, and without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get right on started. So, last episode, we crashed a motherfucking SUV into the giant window at Simeon's car dealership, and here we are at Mike's house. There's a mission waiting us, so let's just go ahead and get things rolling here. I think this is a bit of a cutscene. I think. Or I don't know. Oh, never mind. That was just whatever, I guess. So, we're supposed to be doing a mission here. I think right over here. Yeah, I think this is a cutscene. Hey, it's daytime. Holy shit, that ass. It's a very peaceful household. <laughs> He's just fucking jamming out to music. I mean, I would too. Like, god damn, those guys are... Fucking fighting non stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought he was dreaming about Franklin for a sec. That would have been weird. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered. That's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. <laughs> that was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. Capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. i tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Oh, there's an incoming hey, call. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, Dad. shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's, it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I'll help you out. <clears throat> All right, well, that sucks. His freaking boat stolen. Oh, my God. All right, then. So I guess we have to 
rescue Mike's son. I don't know how well that's gonna go, but Lesson number one. we're gonna do this. Don't ever have kids. <laughs> hey man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? No, oh, but you know, shit, I was making a point. Pathologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. Oh, oh, shit. Get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper wearing motherfucker? Well, you don't see me driving? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. The fuck? I thought he said we weren't his homie, and then he just goes on calling us his fucking friend. Alright? Don't know what the fuck you want, Mike, but... It is what it is, homie. So I think oh, we should be nearing there, the yacht. There, there it is. Oh, That's is that it boat. right there? Oh my the gosh. In a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Alright, it seems like we have to get close to the freaking truck. Oh my gosh, that thing's going fucking ham. We Holy shit, plane. that driver's like there. drunk or something. Once I get us up close, you're the board. Right. Oh, he's, is he gonna jump on there? Board. Holy You'll shit. What the fuck is? Oh, there we go. He jumped. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Holy shit, dude! Oh, somebody's fucking gonna beat him up. How do I? Oh, I think I can shoot him. Can I? Oh fuck! Oh, did he throw him down? Oh my gosh, Franklin actually got on the fucking boat. Holy fuck. With the wrong I this oh, I have to shoot that guy? I just don't to kill me, man. Get him? Get your ass That's right, you fucking dickhead. Well, that's two down. How many more are left on the fucking yacht? All right, now look for my son. Dad? Wait. Well, that's him right there, the yeah, fucking fat the fuck. Story, oh, yeah, of Jim, course this happens. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's what you get for being a fat ass on my boat, you piece of shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we have to drive underneath him? Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We can catch him in the car. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh, Franklin's, like, hanging on the edge for his life as well. <laughs> Don't dad me, you little shit. You better hope she's still seaworthy. Oh ah, man, just crap. drove right over that guy. Ah, shit. Hey, get me off this damn thing. I ain't jumping from here, man. Get close. Ah, too close. Oh man, it's getting away. All the fucking board. Let's stop this ship from sailing. How many guys are you going to kill for that boat? Oh, what the fuck? Now that doesn't sound good. Damn, that's the engine, man. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Don't you die on me yet. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. All right, so it seems like we have to go to a, uh, Mechanic and get this shit repaired. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or. It's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy. 
but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket, a couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with the this fuck dude. is fat fucking ass it's throwing up against though, fucking Franklin's head? Here, right, all, right? all right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. If you stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Franklin's just like, shut the fuck up, you fucking fat piece of shit. God damn, that kid's like so fucking annoying. For some reason, he reminds me of Jonah Hill, the actor. I don't know, it's just like his character design and kind of like his voice too. It sound, he sounds a lot like Jonah Hill. So we have to get Mike's uh, wife's car repaired. Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Alright, so we can actually repair the vehicle for free. That's awesome. Oh, mama ain't gonna recognize this bitch. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. You've caused enough trouble for one day, kid. Good gosh. Alright, so it seems like we have to It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. Or the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I no, I I mean sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James. Jimmy, or just like Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man, I see you at the dealership, and someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. Man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Huh. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged. What's wrong oh, with you? shit. I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting the resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work, right? The days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah. Not since the first couple. Okay. Wow, this fucking guy. He wants to get by in life without doing like a fucking sense of Yo, hard so like, work. Since we're both unemployed, like we could run a together. Penny's you worth know? of hard work, this yeah, fucking guy. It, huh? God damn. Or or we could just like shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on. Strip clubs. Come on, dude. I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number shit. I need it, man. But uh hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog, alright? All right, church. Exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Dude, that guy is such a fucking douchebag. He's like one of those kids that try to be, like, overly popular in school. Holy fuck. Never shuts up. Trying to get it, you know, trying to get cool with everybody. 
Jesus fuck. I'd shoot him right now if I had seen him. You just fucking kill that bitch, but you know can't do that. So anyway, I think this is it. This is probably one of the uh, shorter episodes that I've uploaded so far. And uh, yeah, wait, do we have any missions available to us right now? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Actually, it looks like we do have strangers and freaks. I think that's the only mission that we have available. We could go ahead and do that. But we're pretty far away, and I'm not really in the mood for continuing this recording. So I'll do that in the next episode. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. And as always, till the next video, have a great day and take it easy, everyone. Peace. Bye. See ya.